All right, guys, we are currently in a car wash. Big Red is getting cleaned after what happened the other day. We left Destin. We're in Vera Beach now. Uh, it was like, just give me a second. We left Destin. We're in Vera Beach now, which is like seven hours from it. I'm sorry, it probably looks crazy right now, but we are in a car wash. When we were on the way down here, I saw this lady in Walmart who looked identical to my grandma. Like, I almost thought my grandma was in Walmart in Florida, and we're from Ohio. I, I actually took a selfie with her. I was so confused. I was like, what the heck? There's a picture of that lady, and I'll put in like a clip of my grandma right now. Oh, what the heck? Dude, it's leaking like crazy. Now that 10 gallons of water just poured through the window, let's get this vlog started. Hmm, guys, I wonder why all the water came through. You see this right here? This door that's uh, actually open? Tristan, do you have anything to say about this since you were sitting in the back? Dude, no. Come on. I swear, Tristan, I always got to clean up after you. It's a big fat baby, dude. Look at all the water that got in, guys. Like, I don't know if you could hear it on the mic or not, but it was like pouring, I swear. Hey, at least it cleaned off all the crap that was on the side. Awesome. Been great all around day so far. Oh, this is disgusting. Ugh. Ugh. Since I showed you how to make a sandwich in the last video, this time we're going to be going over how to make mac and cheese. We are staying in a condo right now in Florida, family member's condo, so we do have the ability to make stuff on the stove now. And we're going to be making some mac and cheese, so first we got to get some water to boil the noodles in. <laughs> now the most fun part, you wait for the water to boil. After your water looks like it's vaping, then you know you're ready to add your noodles. We dump them all in at once, you know what I'm saying? I'm a mama on gang on baby, bro. Oh. Guys, to make sure your mac and cheese is nice and creamy, because that's how everyone likes it, you gotta add one secret ingredient. Give me one second. The noodles are done, so we bought to strain them. Now we put them back in the pan. Oh my gosh, and I just dumped them everywhere. Okay, cool. And here's where the magic happens, baby. You gotta add your sweet Popeyes, Louisiana, New Orleans, Velveeta cheese. That's what good mac and cheese sounds like. I just pot a bean yesterday. We were supposed to head to Miami tomorrow, but we didn't really get much filming done today, so we just wanted to be spontaneous and say screw it. We're leaving for Miami. It's 10.30 at night right now. We got like a two and a half hour drive ahead of us, but uh, I thought it'd be fun and uh, just kind of see what happens and go with the flow because it just seems a lot less boring than waking up tomorrow, going down there and just being normal because we're, we're not normal people, I guess, but Big T is not very thrilled to say the least, but he'll be fine. He's just being lazy and boring. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to get on the road, so let's go to Miami. Going to 66, never let a bitch. Stretch me uh -uh. before the microphone. I made a milli out the silly. Yeah. I look. What's up, guys? We're about like 40 minutes from downtown Miami right now, like the heart of Miami. The only reason I'm awake right now is because I drank a like bang, and I, I think I'm about to like actually just crash and pass out. So we're gonna stop, we're gonna sleep for the night, and we are going to wake up tomorrow and head to Miami. I just told my nigga we finna get rich. I just told my bitch go get us some money. I got me a chop of banana my clip. We finally made it to Miami after sleeping in the van. It was like 85 degrees. We slept in the van. It was absolutely terrible. I probably slept for like two hours. But you gotta do what you gotta do to be out here on the grind trying to make it, you know. We were just about to start filming and I met my man Travis. What's up, Travis? We're gonna go to McDonald's and we're gonna get us some food. But before I decided I wanna do YouTube, I, I was trying to become a male stripper, but it didn't work out. Are you kidding No, I'm being serious. Do you want me to show you a couple of my moves? No. I was making good money for a while. Then my mom found out. You know how it is. After you, sir. Get whatever you want. I got it. He's like, can I have a uh, 400 McDoubles? <laughs> really, I need, I need $10 cash. $10 cash? Yeah. If you could help me with that, I would be greatly appreciate it. So my man Travis right here, he, he's asked me for $10 cash a few times. Now, Travis, I'm not going to lie. I know you're going to buy cigarettes with this money. I'll, I'll give you the $10. Okay. I don't have to get naked, do I? You have to get naked. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't tell me that, bro, because I'll do it. You won't. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I guess there's a lot of females watching, right? Oh, yeah. All, oh, all my fans are females. All of them, because I'm so sexy. We're going to change the topic, but I don't think guys are sexy. Guys are totally sexy. Big balls and stuff. Hairy big balls are even sexier. That's not really gay, yeah. Yeah, I'm gay. Are you? No. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll give you $10, okay? I know you're going to buy cigarettes with this, but you got to okay. do better from now on, okay? That's not right. good for you, dude. Is there any way I can keep in contact with you? Not unless you let me move into the van. No, Travis, you're not moving in the van. <laughs> unless you want to cuddle. 
No, <laughs> I'll sleep where I'm at. <laughs> I'm out here gaining new subscribers every day. This is where we part ways. It was nice to meet you, dude. Yeah, man. I like to kiss people goodbye. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I had to come over here when I saw this, guys. I couldn't resist. Look at how beautiful this car is. A Lamborghini SUV, a Lamborghini Urus or Urus, however you say it. And this specific car, not in white, but this just Lamborghini SUV right here. This is like one of my dream cars on my list, and I I will own one one day. I promise you. Whenever I make it on YouTube, I will be buying one of these. This is the best part about coming to any big city. These scooters are amazing. They're so fun. Bunny hop. Oh! Oh, manual. <laughs> All right, I want to try to go down this. This one's for you, Mom. Whoa! <laughs> I've done it! I thought I was gonna die, dude. All right, you guys ready? I'm gonna hit this Rolls Royce. Psych. Fuck the police coming straight from the underground. A young nigga got it back. Guys, I'm looking for a pack of gum. Do you guys have gum? 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 Hmm. What flavor to get? I think watermelon might be the move. I just spent a dollar sixty on gum. That dollar sixty could be going for Travis's cigarettes. So don't don't make fun of me. But we could have been supporting a, a guy addicted to smoking cigs. But I'm just selfish with my money. Successful trip for some gum. This was my last money. This is all I had. A dollar sixty. This is all the money I had left. I bought some watermelon gum, and then I got some cigarettes for a homeless guy. So money well spent. Don't get like peer pressured into doing stuff like that. I mean, that dude said he started when he was 14 smoking cigs, and like now look, the dude's 40 something. He's still a addicted to smoking cigs and how much money you think he's wasted on that ten dollars adds up so just stick to gum on the real though guys I actually am like broke like a lot of you guys think I'm rich and I have all this money a lot of you guys think I'm like loaded because I make like YouTube videos or whatever I've had people like DM me on Instagram asking me to like help buy their sister like a seven thousand dollar car like I basically make no money on my stuff and I'm working on it I'm getting there and I will make it and I'll be buying that Lamborghini not that one but I'll be buying one one day I promise you it's not if it's when I know one day this is all gonna pay off I am broke Oh, guys, I don't I don't have a lot of money. I hope we have enough gas to make it home. Oh no, oh no. I got the bag. We don't litter around here, guys. We don't litter around here. This could actually be really bad. We are like low-key like stranded in Miami right now. Watch this. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, Big Red won't start. She failed me. I thought she would make it through the whole trip. It's like a simple problem, but if we can't drive, then that, we're kind of screwed. Everything should be all good, but low-key, we are stranded in Miami right now, so I don't really know what's going to happen next. Bitch, it's the baby, what you heard about me. I put that nigga up, now niggas acting nervous around me. Guys, this is the last thing I thought that was going to happen today. I did not think we'd be stranded in Miami. I guess this will be fun. Remember how I was talking about how I was broke earlier? This does not help <laughs> at all. I'm going to keep this baby for forever. But eventually, one day, I'm gonna replace this thing with a brand new Mercedes-Benz Sprinter van, I promise you. That way, we don't have to deal with stuff like this in the future. This isn't goodbye, I promise. We got the van towed. We're at a Chevy dealership now. And we just got here and dropped it off because this is the place that could fix it. And there's not really much other places around here that would be able to do it. And uh, we were just told that they even can't even touch anything for as long as three days to a week. We barely have any money. We were only supposed to be in Miami for today. I, I don't even know what we're doing. We're still trying to figure everything out. I'll update you guys whenever we find out. But as of right now, we, we are stranded in Miami and uh, we have no way of getting home. But guys, at the same time, we got to make the best of everything we're gonna have fun we'll figure it out we'll make the best of this and who knows what's gonna come out of this so i'll let you guys know all right guys we made it back from miami we were able to fix the van in the parking lot mainly tristan <laughs> when i say we it was tristan but we figured out what was wrong with it and we did not get stranded in miami for a week which would have sucked that dealership we were at the parts department next door and the mechanics there were cool they let us borrow tools and we went and bought a part from the dealership the dudes in the actual dealership complete jerks at least the one guy was no help at all we went and told them the situation like we're from ohio and we're living in this van and we're basically stranded here because the van got towed 
code there and he just said oh sorry we don't got anything open I'm like dude come on there's like something you can do I know there is he's just like nope sorry guys I don't know what to tell you so like basically we're homeless at this point and we're sitting there trying to figure out what to do and then the guy's like all right come with me and I was like oh sick he must have been able to get us in so we walk out there and he's like so do you decide what you're gonna do yet and I was like what do you mean I thought you were coming out here to pull the van into the mechanic area and he's like oh no I, I just wanted to see if you guys figured out what you're doing yet I'm like dude we're trying to figure it out right now and we're like just go back to doing whatever you're doing <laughs> like we'll figure it out we were able to buy the part and change it thankfully and uh, we're about to head to Clearwater so guys that dealership go give them a bad review on Yelp on your review say something like that they tried to smell your balls or something like weird we're in Clearwater now and I'm about to go on a date I'm really nervous I went and got an outfit from Walmart for my date but I'm just like freaking out right now because I don't know it's just a date you know you're nervous so I got some stuff to prepare a nice shirt okay and we got oh you guys weren't supposed to see that. Boom. I know you guys can't resist me, but you're gonna have to, okay? There's one more thing I need to get to go on this date, and that is a flower. So let's go. <sighs> Will you be my Valentine? I ain't saying she a gold digger. But she ain't messing with no broke. Guys, I'm really nervous. We're going up the elevator right now. I'm going to get my date. I just I hope they like me and it I, it doesn't go bad because I don't know. Guys, he's right here. Uh are are you Drew? Oh yeah. Yeah, what's up? Bro? What's up? Are you ready to go on a date? Yeah man, I'm ready. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Drew, I, I got something for you to, to go on a date with. I got you a flower. Where's the flower? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just here messing around after our date. Not how you think I'm talking about, but kind of kind also. Of. I mean, you see we, the context we, of it. we were playing with a dildo, <laughs> and I just like one time was like, I looked up at the ceiling in the parking garage. It's like probably like what, like 15 feet high, and I was like, you think it would stick up there? And I just threw it, and I got it first try. Sir, can you help us? I have a dildo stuck up the ceiling. How high can you jump? <laughs> can Stop. you reach that? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I just got fired, and that made my day. 